This is breaking news from Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And we begin tonight with breaking news from the city's near north side. Four people have been shot, two of them children, and one of those children has since died. Eyewitness News reporter Emily Longnecker has been gathering information in the 3900 block of Graceland Avenue. She joins us with what happened. Emily? Well, Jeremy, police say it's still very early on the investigation, but what they do know is that someone opened fire here tonight outside a home on Graceland Avenue where people, a family was gathered to uh, mourn the passing of the family matriarch. And when the shooting was over, two children had been shot, two adults had been shot. One of those children has now died. The other child and two adults are all in stable condition. Police are investigating reports of a car driving by and opening fire on people outside a home. That home belonged to the grandmother of one of the little boys who was shot and killed here tonight. Families say that little boy is between 9 and 11 years old. His grandmother died last week, and the family hasn't even had her funeral. Now her grandson is also gone. If you're going to shoot someone, how about you shoot yourself? That's how I feel about it. I mean, like, don't shoot an innocent kid. The kid didn't do nothing to you whatsoever. They don't deserve that. The boy ain't even been able to live his life, go to college, or nothing like that. There's obviously a, a very critical uh, situation, a very sad situation. Um, you know, there's no need for this type of uh, violence to go on on our streets, especially when our, our kids are... Uh, safely in their home, you know, enjoying time with family. Uh, so it's obviously a very, very sad situation here tonight. Police say they do not believe that this was random. At this point, they say there was no, there is no suspect information. We also know uh, that there was a undercover investigation here at this home in February. Police say that during that undercover investigation, two people were arrested. Tonight, though, this was a family gathered in mourning. And tonight now, Jeremy, they are mourning so much more. We'll send it back to you. All right, Emily Longhecker live on the near north side. A very, very tragic night there. Thanks, everyone.